Hey everybody, I'm coming at you today. I know I've been away for a while, but it's been just a little bit rough. So I'm going to try to make as many videos as possible. It's just getting like my fibromyalgia is just off the hook. But we are not going to talk about that. What we're going to talk about is my skincare regimen. So if I can zoom you in just a little bit, it's getting colder outside. So it is getting cold outside and I need to look in my mirror to tell to show you what's going on with my skin. What I realized this year, for some reason, I have to exfoliate a heck of a lot because my skin gets really dry right here and it's doing some kind of weirdness right here that I'm not understanding, but I'm going to go ahead and exfoliate. Um, and actually be, my skin does usually get dry during the winter so I have to kind of change up my routine and kind of use some heavier things on my face but I'm going to take you into the bathroom where the um, sink is <laughs> and I'm going to show you what I use on my face while I actually use it now because I'm feeling really bad and I really need to go ahead and exfoliate so if you hang in there with me we're going to go and do my routine okay so i usually um start out my routine after a day of wearing makeup for which i usually use the garnier micellar water um, i'm going to go ahead and add that stuff anyway even though i don't have any makeup today um and i usually use the cotton rounds from ulta for almost everything so since i don't have any makeup we'll just use one and I'll just saturate it and just take everything off of my face or any extra prepping to get ready to exfoliate. Okay, so that is that. And to exfoliate my face, I'm going to use my Clarisonic Mia 2. And the cleanser I'm going to use is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser, which I just purchased um, a couple of weeks ago. So I've been using it and I really like it so far. And what I do is just put it onto the brush head. And I go by um, the prompts that the Mia gives me. So when it beeps for me to change... Um, like zones on my face I just change so let's do that it was already wet paying a lot of attention to my forehead because it's been really dry around my eyebrows in the middle of my forehead so I do pay a lot of attention to that My nose gets flaky a lot too, so I pay attention to that as well. All right, so that's that. And I will rinse my brush off later. But I do use a clean cloth to um, um, rinse this off my face. Um, I get these from like Target or Walmart and they also help to exfoliate. Usually it's the cheapy ones that come in like a 10 or a 12 pack. So that's the rinse. Yeah, my bathroom is so small so it's kind of hard to get the camera angle thing going on. So I gotta step out of frame because the sink is on this side. I'm 
All right, so since that is that and that's all I need to use the sink for, I'm going to change the location of my camera and then I'll show you the rest of my routine. Okay, so after I wash um, slash exfoliate my face, I like to use a toner. And the toner that I'm using now is another It Cosmetics product. It's called the It Miracle Water Anti-Aging 3-in-1 Tonic Glow. And that is that. Um, this states that it uh, it's a skin brightening radiance booster, anti-aging treatment essence, as well as a skin softening micellar cleanser. So extra cleansing in that. Um, I just put it on a cotton pad, like shake it onto the cotton pad and just go across my face. I'll do under my neck as well because I did do exfoliation on my neck, my chin I mean. Okay, so I let that dry down a little bit and let me just talk a little bit about masks. Every now and then I do use a mask, like a clay mask or something for my face. But I received, and I think it was my Glossy Box, three of these facial masks from BioBell. Um, I have the Beauty Secret. I have the I Woke Up Like This. And I have the primer mask, which you are supposed to use before you put on your makeup. I'm really interested in that. So um, if you want to see a review video on any of these three or all of these three masks, just put it down in the comments for me and I will definitely do that for you. So my face is dried down and um, I'm going to go in with an eye cream which I try to use on the daily. I am going to be using another It Cosmetics product because everything's It Cosmetics right now. So so this is the It Bye Bye Under Eye Cream and it says it smooths, brightens, and deep puffs um, the eye area so I really need that because I have, you see these suckers? I have bags. So I put this on my whole um, eye, including the eyelid. And always try to remember to use the hand that the finger that with the least pressure, which is usually the ring finger, because you want to be gentle with your eye area, even though it looks like I'm not, I'm really not digging in there. And it seems like I use a lot, but it's for my eye area, so I don't care. And I usually go out here because when I sleep, my face wrinkles like this and then I have the lines right there. So I try and make sure that I get that area as well. So that is that. And the final thing I do is moisturize. And since I'm not going out, I don't need SPF. And when I don't need SPF, I use the It Confidence in a cream. So I use the It Confidence in a cream. And this says that it is a transforming, moisturizing super cream. It's anti-aging. Um, so definitely at this point in my life, I'm, I'm all for anti-aging. And I'm, I'm really trying to work on it. I'm, I'm actually getting there. So yay me. I just need to be more diligent in, in using this. But I've done a good job on it. So I try to be gentle on my face, I swear, but I'm sometimes I'm just like so not. But upward motions, I try. And under my chin. I have a different neck cream, so I won't put that down my neck. I already have the eye cream on, so I don't have to really worry about the eye area. And I know I'm being rough, but this is just me and my face. So that is that um, for my, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the um, viewfinder back there. Um, that's it for my routine, basically. And this thing is getting on my nerves. Um, let me zoom you in so we can look at that dry area on my forehead. So it is really super moisturized, but it still has that texture to it.
that is making me a little bit angry but it's okay I'm going to work on that and try and fix that and if not I'm going to see a dermatologist because we're not going to be having problems with my face which is not so um, I usually use I put on lip gloss earlier but I usually use after I do my face um, a moisturizer for my lips and it's usually the Nivea Kiss of Milk and Honey lip balm so I usually use that I have these things stored everywhere so now that is that and thank you all for watching the video um, hang in there with me for more videos I'm doing them as I feel better so sorry that it's like um, pretty few but um, today was a decent day although I still have a lot of pain and I don't want to complain so see you guys <laughs> for the next video bye